How to generate Google OAuth to access token and refresh token. Part 2. You are tool of Gmail OAuth to utilities. So we already generated the client ID and the client secret in the part 1 of the lesson. In the part 2 and the part 3, we will learn to generate access token and refresh token with Gmail OAuth to utilities. It provides both graphic user interface and a command line tool. In no time, we will learn about the UI tool and in the part 3, we will learn to use the command line tool. Now, let's go ahead and download it. Let's go ahead and download Gmail OAuth to utilities from this link. Copy it. Go to your browser and paste it. And go. Here is it. Let's find out the assets and find out the proper version according to your operating system. I'm using Windows 10 64 bit and I have an installed Java, so I can download this one or this one. If you have Java installed on your computer, feel free to use one of these two. I'm going to use this one. Download starts. Almost finished. Alright, downloads completed. We can start using Gmail OAuth to utilities. No installation is required, just for info. Let's find out the downloaded file. Unzip it. After unzipping the file, let's go into this folder. You see these files, among which find out this program. It has a user interface. Well, this one's a command line tool that we're going to learn to use in the next part of the lesson. Now, let's open up the UI tool. Here's a security warning. Let's click Run. Similarly, if you're using Mac operating system, you'll find this program blocked. Then you need to go to the security settings and click something like Open Anyway. Alright, here is the user interface of the Gmail OAuth 2 utilities. Oftentimes, we will use the first option, Refresh Token feature, once you have refreshed token. But as a first time user, you need the third option, Generate OAuth 2 token. This allows you to generate a refresh token and an access token at the same time. And this is what we are going to do right now. So first of all, we have to fill in the client ID, which I have stored in the notepad. If you haven't, you need to find it in the Google Cloud Platform. We already talked about it at the end of the previous video. So copy the client ID back to the OAuth 2 utility and paste. Then click this button that reads Get Verification Code. It says there is a URL generated already, which brings you to a site where you can get verification code. You can open that site with your default browser or copy URL. And paste it and go to the underlying site. Next, you're required to sign in with your Google account. I don't think I have to explain too much about how to sign in. I assume you already know it. Here we can click continue as we are doing some experiments. Here we have to grant the permission to read and send emails and click continue. Fantastic. Here is the verification code we need to copy by simply clicking this button. Back to the OAuth 2 utility. Paste the verification code here in the text box. Then we need to fill in the client secret as well, which I've also stored in the notepad here. Copy it and paste it in the appropriate field. Then click the Generate OAuth 2 token. 
After a while, you see an access token and a timer indicating when the access token will expire. After it expires, you can use your refresh token to generate your new access token. Of course, the new access token will also have a lifespan, which is one hour, if Google doesn't change it. With this access token, you can now verify whether login in OAuth 2 mechanism works or not. Let's start with the IMAP authentication. Click here, the fourth option. You need to fill in a user, which has to be your complete Gmail address. Fill in your access token, which in my case lives here. Copy it, as long as it has not expired. Back here, paste it. Click this button. You can see the test results popping up. I can see a lot of success. See? It's a good sign. Here is an authenticated parenthesis success, which means login is successful. Great! Next up, we're going to test our SMTP authentication. Similarly, let's fill in the access token and the user. And click this button. You can see the test results popping up. Hope you can see this accepted, which means the OAuth 2 authentication in SMTP protocol is successful. Well, we have tested the access token generated here, but you know, it is not effective forever. It has a timer that tells when it expires. Now, let's imagine the timer has run out and the access token has expired. So, what should we do? The answer is refresh token. Here, let's copy it and go to the first option. Here, paste the refresh token. Copy the client secret. And paste it. Copy the client ID. Back to the OAuth 2 utility. And paste it. Then click the refresh token. Just for your info, you can have multiple access tokens at the same time but each of them have their own lifespan and expires. After a while, you see a new access token generated. As always, it also expires. This timer tells when. Just for your info, the old access token is still effective as long as it hasn't expired. The timer tells when. You can do your own experiments with the access tokens on IMAP authentication and SMTP authentication. All right. Before I bring this video to a close, I want to briefly talk about the application log. Just in case you want to do some troubleshooting, here in the log folder, there is a Gmail OAuth 2 UI tool.log. By default, it doesn't record too much information. It's basically all about what buttons you have clicked. If you need more detailed logs, you have to change the log properties at config folder. Here is a log4j UI tool dot properties. You can edit it with your notepad. You can comment out this line. Uncomment this line and save the file. But remember, from then on, your application log will contain confidential data, which you might want to conceal manually before sharing the log file with someone else. All right, that's all about part two of the lesson. In the part three and part four, we do exactly the same thing, but we will use command line tools. After that, we will learn SMTP protocol to send email only by typing commands. I'll see you soon. Peace.